Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back. My name is Damien. This is my Arrow episode 13 video and uh, let's get right into it. If you haven't seen the episode yet, then feel free to come back later. Uh, thank you for checking out the video, by the way. Do leave a like, share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as always, subscribe if you're new to the channel. So let's get right into it. Arrow is continuing or for the most part wrapping up a story arc that has been going on for a while and they really don't have a choice in this matter, but uh, what I am talking about is the just the League of Assassins, the whole Ra's al Ghul, Ra's al Ghul, however you like to call him, that story arc. Um, I have been very, very vocal about the fact that I was never a big fan of the way they handled the entire story arc from last season leading into this season as well, so it's just uh, a storyline that I felt needed to be wrapped up. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but do let me know in the comment section down below, because they... The story, it just always felt like it was, there were just too many loopholes, there's just not enough, like, true depth to what they're actually trying to say, or the entire motivation of all the characters and stuff like that involved, so it also, it always felt to me like something that was just kind of on the side, but uh, that's just my take on it. Uh, the fight between Oliver and Malcolm Merlin was whatever a lot of people i guess are gonna say that the fight was pretty lame but uh you know it's a tv show it's it's arrow it's just the way it is i don't really look at that too much as far as kind of you know docking points from them for that specifically but yeah that was kind of the big thing about the episode it was really just about the league uh, nisa al ghul and her ongoing hatred for malcolm merlin which is I guess deserving. Uh, that's fine. You know, I guess she is in a she is justified in that. But the characters there, there's so many things you can kind of come back to and and mention or use as like a justification to explain like how confusing the entire storyline has been, where their actions don't really kind of make sense sometimes. But uh, I think that was one of the the weaker notes of of Arrow was bringing that storyline into the show because if you think back to episode three or sorry season three episode nine the climb when oliver had the fight with with ra's al ghul that was a really really good episode and i thought at the time they that the the entire league of assassins that whole story arc they were doing with ra's al ghul was was very promising and that there was a lot they could do with it but since then the latter half of season three and then now into season four it just got it got really really weird and a lot of things are just you know just that didn't work out and that, that happens sometimes you you try a you try to write a storyline into a show like that and it starts off really good but sometimes it fails it's just the way it, it is i think there's a lot of people that will definitely agree with me on that it just wasn't as well received as i thought as i think they thought it was going to be so uh that's just my take on that I'm, I'm always a fan of nisa i like katrina law a lot um i saw her on spartacus so it was always nice to see her you know come back on the show and make an appearance and do her thing i'm um, her dissolving the league at the end i guess is them officially wrapping it for now at least and i guess we'll see if it makes any kind of appearances uh, down the line so other big things obviously felicity dealing with the arrival of her father who is played wonderfully by uh, I think his name is, it's Tom Amandes, I believe. I was actually a fan of him on this show called Everwood, if any of you guys know that. Uh, I was, that, know that show it was from way back, uh, ended back in 2006. So I was a fan of him uh, during that, that time on that show. He was great. So to see him show up on Arrow was, was pretty surprising. I haven't seen him in a long time. So her whole storyline with him and trusting her father again and whatnot that was something that they kind of brought in uh, there was all, always of course rumors that Damien Dark was going to be her father and stuff like that there was a lot of rumors leading up to this season as well as you know going in the direction of her being Oracle and whatnot so always just different uh, possibilities with these shows but her father comes on and I don't think it's the last we've seen of him I think he'll definitely be back but uh, I thought his I thought his scenes were great as well and her her overall interaction with him, just the fact that she's never really had a father figure, I guess, or she's never really mentioned anything about her father, and now we kind of get, you know, more backstory as to why. I, since I've been watching Arrow, she's right, she's never really kind of mentioned that. It's never been something that they've kind of sat down and had conversations with, at least not that I remember, but to see him come on, uh, that was really cool, and I hope that, that he's back at some point, and it was obviously really hard for her to do that, and she'll be, she'll be thinking about it for a while. 
So let me know what you guys think about that as well. And let me know what you think about the Felicity character in in general, like how they're moving her character forward and the direction they're taking with her and so on. Now, Oliver and Felicity, they had they had some scenes in this episode. Uh, they were they were fine uh, planning their wedding and whatnot. I guess I guess we'll probably have a a wedding for Oliver and Felicity on Arrow at some point. And I guess inevitably she'll get out of the wheelchair because since they're not going to go with the whole Oracle route, then yeah, I guess she'll get out of the wheelchair and uh, and that will be fine. But it was a nice nod to the comics of them, you know, kind of they've borrowed a lot from Batman, so it was a nice nod for them to kind of do the little Oracle thing. But we'll see just, you know, what they really plan on doing. Now, as far as the flash forward that was shown at the beginning of the season, I initially believed it to be Felicity. I Honestly, I was hoping, I won't lie, I was actually hoping it would be her because I think it would have been a really darker, a much darker approach to the show and it would have been really great. But what I do think they're going to do is it's going to be Oliver's son. I think that's what they're going to end up doing because it's possible they could do Diggle, but I think that he's just a core supporting character of the show and it'd be really odd if they took him i think he would create this void that just couldn't be filled because they don't give enough screen time to laurel so really all you have left is diggle and diggle he was always kind of like he completed the trifecta of oliver felicity and diggle i mean there was a lot of scenes where he was just kind of observing their conversations and it was really great like funny banter and stuff like that so i don't think that it'll be diggle i think he just is really really great and his character has just been around for a long time and he's been He's been really, really just fun to have on the show. Now, if they do, if they do have it be Oliver's son, it would explain why he's still sad after after the funeral. Because there's really only two people I could think of that would keep him that sad, and it was Felicity and and his son. Uh, Thea is out of the question. I think. I think she's just too related to the comics lore wise. I think there's no way they could ever do that. But you know, let me know what you guys think about it being about it being uh, Oliver's son. So obviously, Damien Dark is going to have some plans. Leading up to the end of the season, we only have uh, nine episodes left for Arrow and The Flash, so should be really good. They have some good stuff coming up that I'm looking forward to. And overall, the right now what's going on with Thea and Laurel and all these other characters, they're in this place where you you know that they they need something else, and they've had they've had a lot of these storylines kind of continuing for a while. And I think they're going to need to, now they're going to have to shake it up again and come up with something a little bit better. Arrow and The Flash are, are interesting because I feel like when I'm watching The Flash, it's going at such a higher pace. So when when I watch Arrow, everything just feels so different. It's like I, I don't know if it's just because of the fact that maybe, maybe I'm just a bigger fan of The Flash TV show in general, but I, I find myself enjoying The Flash way more than I do Arrow, and I think... It's really due to the fact that they spent a lot of time with the Ra's al Ghul storyline, the League of Shadows. Like, ever since they brought that in, it just kind of threw the show off a little bit for me. So, you know, I hope they can move forward a little bit with this Damien Dark storyline and possibly pick up with something great for next season. Because Arrow, realistically, is going to be on the air for at least another three seasons. I see it going season five, six, and seven, at least. I think that would that would be appropriate, just because The Flash is a few seasons behind So they'll need, the fact that it has that two season gap, the Flash is going to need to keep up. But I feel like they could also end, they could end Arrow and still have Oliver Queen make appearances on on the Flash TV show, which would be really cool if they did that as well. So yeah, share your thoughts and opinions. Uh, Those are my thoughts on the episode. Uh, It was great overall, only because in my my opinion, I was glad that they were able to kind of dissolve or wrap up the League of of Assassins storyline. But I hope to see Nisa back at some point, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So thank you guys for listening, and Oliver and Felicity's wedding is obviously going to be coming up. I'll definitely be doing a video on that at some point. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. My name is Damien. Thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video and comment down below your thoughts and opinions.